In this video, we're going to look at an easy new feature we call Zoom, or Pinch and Zoom. Now this is something you've been able to do in Mag Plus for a while, but the difference is now, with 4.1 and beyond, you can do this natively directly in InDesign, so it's much simpler to do. You're seeing me pinching and zooming here on this image. Now you can't see my fingers because I'm using Reflector app to show you on my computer screen what's happening on my iPad, which is sitting next to my computer here but you can see I'm pinching and zooming and moving around it. Let me show you how simple this is to do in InDesign. Here's the document we were just looking at. Here we've made an image box, and you can do this on either layer. In this case, it's on the background layer. We've placed our image inside it. You can see the image is actually a little bit bigger than the box itself, and that's fine. It can be the same size or it can be bigger. Once we've made our box, placed our image in it to zoom, all we do is go to the Mag Plus object palette and check the zoom box. And you'll see a pull down here that gives you some options for how great the zoom can be from 125 and 150% all the way up to 800%. That's all you have to do to turn zoom on. One word of caution for this, if you're zooming an image, if it's very big, try to keep the zoom level down to 125, 150, maybe 200%. The issue is that once you start getting into larger images that you have to place in there, the higher resolution that you need will start to overwhelm the memory of the device. Let me say a little more about resolution. So here if I say 200% on this image, I want to make sure that the source image I've placed in here has enough resolution to be blown up to 200% without starting to pixelate. Now it'll blow up either way, but we want to keep it nice and crisp and clear if you're having people zoom in to see greater detail. So if this box were, say, 100 by 400 pixels, I'd want to make sure that my image was at least 200 by 800. You can imagine if you start doing large full screen images and trying to zoom to 800%, how big those images are going to have to be that the system's going to load. Now, as long as you have enough resolution to cover the needed uh, you know, resolution that it's going to need when it zooms in, the system will, upon export, get it down to just the right size that it needs. It won't make it any bigger or any smaller if it can help it. If you want to make sure that it uses exactly the picture that you've placed and not done any converting, just like always, you can click the Use Linked Image button. And that means it'll skip that image on conversion and it'll just place in that box exactly the image that you've placed in there. So that's all it is for Pinch and Zoom. Place an image, check the Zoom box, pick a zoom level.